My name is Ms. Artastic and today we're going to make angry cactuses. For this tutorial, you're going to need felt markers and pencil crayons. Let's get started. To start our cactus, we want to draw the pot. So about halfway down, you're going to draw a curved line. On either end, draw a straight line down. And then you're going to draw another parallel curved line beneath that one. Next, we're going to draw two vertical lines down, then another curved line below to create the pot, just like that. Next, we need to draw our cactus in the upper part of our paper. So we're going to start on one side, we're going to draw up, and I'm gonna be mindful of keeping everything in kind of a curved shape. Now I wanna give this cactus a little arm coming off the side here, so I'll draw that. I'm going to draw up, I'm gonna leave a gap because I'm gonna put a flower there, and then I'm gonna connect down into the pot again. Now, it doesn't matter in which way you want to draw your cactus. You can be a little bit more creative if you want to. Um, all cactuses grow differently, so you should make your cactus the way you want it. Now, we're going to add a little flower in here. So I'm going to draw a curved line there, and then I'm going to add zigzag lines for the top of that flower. And this flower is just peeking on the other side there, so we're just going to add some zigzag lines just like that. Now I'm going to add some vertical lines or straight lines for some texture in each of the flowers. Next we're going to decorate our pot. So I'm going to draw a band across the pot with some curving lines. Notice that all these lines are genu generally parallel to each other. And in this I'm going to draw a zigzag line. Awesome. Below that, I'm going to draw triangles for added decoration. And above the band, circles. Now we're going to create the cactus's face. Now remember, this is a very angry cactus. And because the body's quite wide, or in my mind, this is the head, I'm going to spread the head out across the body. I'm going to draw my big, expressive, angry eyelids or eyebrows. So they're similar to like sideways letter S's in between two more lines. He's very, very angry today. This eye is going to be a large circle and this eye is going to be smaller. So one small eye or circle and one large eye or circle. I'm going to draw a circle in each eye. That will be the pupil. And then one more circle. And this will be the glare of light. Now I'm going to color in the rest of the pupil, except for that white circle in the middle. So. I need to be very, very careful as I color around that circle. Just like that. Now we're going to give him a grumbly sort of mouth with a wavy line there. And on each corner of the mouth, I'm going to add a tiny, tiny little V or arrow. I'm going to add a little line for the upper lip there. A wavy line for the bottom of the lip and an arch line or an upside down U or kind of like a rainbow line for the chin. And that is our angry cactus's face. But he's not much of a cactus if we don't add any thorns, okay? Or spindles or spikes, whatever you might want to call them. I don't really know the name. 
So we're going to add three lines and I just go over them one or two more times. That way they're a little bit more thick so that way they kind of stand out. Now I am avoiding the face. So I'm only going up to there. So I'm imagining that if this line continued down, the bottom of the line would be here. Okay. So I'm just using my imagination to fill in the gap, but I don't want to draw across the face because then we won't be able to see the face at all. And I really want to see these cool details. I'm also going to add three lines down the little arm here. The two side lines will be curved and the middle line will be straight. Wonderful. Now we need to add some spiky guys. Okay, so I'm going to alternate the thorns or spikes up and down the cactus. So not going to go one side, go a little bit down, go to the other side. One side, go down and alternate. Now for the outside of the body, it's a lot easier with just having them facing up. Check out that angry cactus. All right guys, it is time for us to color. You're gonna watch me as I color with felt marker first and then I will come back on and then I'll talk about shading and highlighting with pencil crayons, white and black, okay? So you guys can enjoy the awesome background noise of felt markers. You can either do the same colors that I'm doing or use this time to experiment and use the colors that you want to use yourself. Here we go.
All right, so we're going to use a couple colors to increase the vibrance or intensity of the felt marker. Um, and then we're going to use our white and black pencil crayons for shading and highlighting. So first, I just want to use a blue. I'm going to color softly around the pupil. And I just like to lightly color in circular motions, very tight circular motions. And that's just going to give the eye a bit of color. So it looks a little bit more lifelike. Now I want to use my yellow and I'm just going to add to the flowers and the in-between parts on the cactus. So that way it's a bit of a yellow, a brighter, sorry, a brighter green, not a yellow. like that. All right, so it looks like we're ready to use our black and white pencil crown. First, we're going to start with the white pencil crown. I'm going to begin by adding some white onto the tips of the flowers, anywhere I think that there might be light. I'm also going to do the same to the tops of the stripes and cactus here. And I'm coloring with the shape of the cactus. I'm not going this way. I'm going with the body of the cactus. Okay, and this is going to really bring the cactus to life. Felt markers are pretty flat in color, so it's really important that we use other mediums to bring out the intensity and flavor of your art piece. I'm also going to add highlights over the eyebrows. So they stand out. It gives it a bit more a bit more expression. I'm also going to add highlights to the upper lip, and bottom, and the top of the chin, just like that. We're also going to add highlights here to the top of the pot and in the middle of the pot. Next, we're going to use our black pencil crayon and we're going to add the shadows. So we have to be very careful that we don't press too hard or else it will be very black. So we want to press lightly as we shade underneath the flower first. And then we're going to do the sides. And just a little bit along the bottom here. I'm also going to shade underneath the lip or mouth just along that line. And under this lip and between the chin. So if I imagine that this is the lower lip here and this is the chin, if you look on a human face that's usually darker because these two parts are sticking out. So it naturally, even on a human, um, it's there's shadows on the face. Okay. We're going to shade under, so we did highlights on the top of the brow, but we're going to shade under the brow. And this is really going to intensify the expression on your cactus's face. 
and I'm also going to bring that shadow around the eye so that way the eyes look like they're in deep sockets really anchored into the face. So you can see how much contrast is between the dark and then that stark white and then the dark. Your eyes automatically focus in on the face first once we do this. And that creates a focal point in your art piece, which is the place that you, the artist, wants your viewer to look first. So, good job artists. Now look at how angry this guy's looking. I'm loving it. All right, we want to add a shadow just below the rim here of the pot. And then we're going to do the sides. Once you're done shading, your cactus is done. That's the end of this episode. Tune in on Tuesday evening at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time or 8 p.m. Eastern for the premiere of the next episode. Please subscribe to the channel. For more art tutorials, visit my blog at MsArtastic.com. Creative, high-quality art resources for teachers can be found at my TPT store, Ms. Artastic, and shirts for both teachers and art teachers are available at MsArtasticCollection.com. All links are available in the description of this video. See you next time.